Okay, so a useful object called U menu. It's a pop-up menu. Um, it's under the basic audio data interface here. Here, this is the one that called U menu. Or you can just type in um, U menu in a new object. And what you do with this. Okay, so suppose you have a SF play that you want to play and you're not going to play them uh, all at once by one after another. You can have a different SF plays, like three of them going one after another. Or you can save yourself some trouble by using a U menu. So what you do is you highlight it and you get to the inspector and you press edit and it says empty. So you can type in your file names. Uh, in my case, I have a sound files here that's already in my file pass. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have a sound file here. So um, I choose, you know, this piece, right? Okay, so I can just copy paste it. Make sure, this is important, your sound files don't have any spaces between words. Uh, Often you, when you download from the internet, they'll give you a um, file name with a space in it and that will, that will um, be a problem in Max because if there's a space between these two words, um, it's very small, isn't it? Um, if there's a space between these um, uh, words, the SF play would think to just open the first word. So you, want, you will get an error. So let's say um, I want another one that's not a sound file here. <clears throat> so uh, file name, comma, space, file name, comma, space, and one more. Um, okay, I'm going to not spell that word. Of file name, comma. Uh, the last one doesn't need a comma space. So let's just do three. And you say, okay. And then, magically, it populated itself. File names by file names. So now, um, U menu has outputs and input. Input will give you. Um, it starts from zero, one, two. So zero, one, two. So you can interactively change this. You can uh, trigger this from outside as well. And um, output. The left output is identical to what you're putting in, so you can, you know, identify. Oh, you're playing the f um, second sound file, the first sound file. There, again, it's counting from zero. Okay, the middle outlet it will will output the file name itself. So zero, see, one, two. So what we want to send it to SF play is this middle output and also we need to say open so what we do is to use this object called prepend the word open and attach from here into SF play that's it no longer need this so something like this and then um, let's do it Let's say, um, or you can either scroll it like this, or you can go from here like this and start. Okay. Or the first one is. Okay. And the second one is. I mean the third. So you can just change it that way. So how if you want to uh, automatically start SF play after um, you open the file? Um, to be sure, you want to, um, well, you know how to turn on and turn off the SF play. It's one or zero, right? So you want to send a one. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Uh, trigger one after you send in the um, file name because if there's no file name you cannot op um, you can start right 
So you can do this. Um, so you send the file name. S, S trigger one S stands for symbol. So this symbol, this is the name. So you send the name to the prepend open, and then you send a one to SF play. There, okay. Um, oops, did it do it? I'll do this again here. So this way, I don't even, I don't have to each time uh, turn this on to play it. So let's see, <coughs> zero. So <clears throat> you can do that automatically. Oh, I don't have a three. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, that's it.